A magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake off the Pacific coast of Canada triggered a tsunami in southwestern Canada and the state of Hawaii, Hawaii. However, the previously announced evacuation was cancelled when it became known that the wave height was lower than expected. Sirens sounded in Hawaii on Saturday night, announcing an impending tsunami. Since then, according to Reuters, at least 100,000 people have moved from the coast to the hills. Hawaii Governor Neil Abercrombie has declared a state of emergency and announced additional security measures. According to the officials' initial estimates, the waves could reach 2 meters in height, but the largest wave was only 1 and a half meters long. He was recorded on the island of Maui and did not cause serious injury. The authorities announced the risk level was reduced from warning to recommendation shortly after 1 o'clock local time. However, civil defense officials said the island's coasts and ports would be closed for several hours. Locals were advised to stay away from the coast. According to forecasts, the wave height in some areas can reach 2 meters. The tsunami earthquake struck 200 kilometers southwest of Prince Rupert, Canada, with an epicenter at a depth of 18 kilometers and a magnitude of 7. According to preliminary information, the earthquake off the coast of Canada did not cause any damage or human lives. There were no tsunami warnings for coastal areas of Alaska and British Columbia. Initially, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said the earthquake posed no threat to remote areas. But soon new news was published, after the earthquake, a tsunami formed, which could damage the coast of all Hawaii. The Hawaiian archipelago consists of hundreds of islands stretching for almost 2,500 kilometers, residents of tsunami-prone areas, it is recommended to climb higher in these areas in advance. An earthquake in western Canada occurred at about 3 a. After the first strong impact, an aftershock of 5.8 followed.